what is going on everybody z here welcome back to some more hydro so today we are going to expand our brand new place we're going to expand it we're hopefully going to get things actually rocking and rolling now um i let this run for as long as i could i ran out of wrenches so i don't know how much is actually in here currently unfortunately actually you know what let me go grab a wrench real quick just so we can do the gems and uh try to get some some gem action going on here but uh yeah welcome back to hydrogen here hopefully you guys enjoy if you do make sure you leave a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe as well for some more we're gonna try to increase our production and make more money because that's what the whole game is about right make more money make more money yes where do i ah uh, i didn't bring any money with me <laughs> all right you know what i'm gonna sell that little cloudium bar that we have because I don't think... Oh, let's sell that one instead. We're going to sell this. Because Claudio is actually not worth all that much. I don't think. I don't think per weight it's worth all that much. I thought it was because it's like super rare. But uh, I don't really need it right now. And let's just sell it for 2147 Heck yeah. We'll just leave that at this other place. So I can grab branches as need be to come back here. Because right now, this is our only money-making source. But we're going to hopefully uh, fix that today. All right. So let's go ahead and let's flip the switch. Let's, uh, let's get everything repaired. That one's broken, that one's broken, that one's broken. My gosh, these things were awful. Terribly, horribly broken. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's do, uh, let's do this guy right there. Let's use the red gem because that's the one I've, that's been sitting in there the longest. So we'll use that one. Uh, let's go ahead and select a ring on that guy. And then let's grab some gold. Hopefully it's worth a lot. We always want it to be worth a lot because that's what we need. We need lots of money. All right, Mr. Ring, be worth lots and lots of money, please. Please be worth lots of money. All right, what do we got? Oh my gosh, 45,000. <gasps> Guys, we have enough. We have enough to get our place going. Oh, yes, we do. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. Let's get even motor gold. 45,000. Ooh, that's good. All right, how much do we have in total? Grand total. Oh my gosh, 58,000. It jumped out of the thing. It was so excited. <laughs> it was so excited. All right, so... Before we get anything too crazy going, let's go back over here. Let's see what we need. I know we need a bunch of straight pipes, so we're going to grab a bunch of those to start with. We're going to get the water hooked up. We're going to try to get those things going and then expand on as we can. Okay, so right now it looks like I need about just, um, I don't know, a billion straight pipes. <laughs> I need so many of them. Oh, we're going to need so many. And then we need to get actually, yeah, actually, you know what? Let's do this first. Let's get the other stuff set up. Let's get our smelters and stuff set up, the conveyor belts, things like that. And then we'll focus on piping everything in. All right, so I got some of the basic stuff, uh, the like sorting and smelting and stuff like that. So I got those machines. I didn't get any conveyor belts or pipes yet. So we're just gonna take this stuff back with us. And uh, we're gonna get these kind of set up, laid out. And then we can figure out how many belts we need, how many you know pipes, things like that. But we got to start somewhere. And like I said, I want to get it so we can actually start making some money off of this place. Because then I don't have to worry about going back to my other place so often. All right. So we have our first smelter. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Let's, let's leave some room. I'm going to I'm not going to place them right next to each other. We're going to have them just kind of. Uh, let's see smelter. OK, there we go. I want to have room in betwixt them. So like, yeah, that'll work. That gives us enough room. That'll work. Okay, cool. I like that. I like that. I like the spacing. So it's what? Uh, that one and then that one. And then what? That's like one foundation's worth away. So we'll go ahead and put it on that one. Perfect. And the last one. We'll go there, and then we need the gem one as well. Okay, so we'll do that like that. Actually, no, we're gonna set this guy on the ground. We're gonna set it just like that. Perfect, okay, I like that, I like that. Now, uh, we're gonna have sorters for each thing. So we're gonna need those guys as well. Um, I don't... Let's see, arrow that way and that way. That might work. We might have to move it because we're going to have to have uh, some conveyors lifting some stuff up. Actually, yeah, let's just go ahead and bring this back another one to start with. I think that'll work. Because we're going to need 
because we're going to have a funnel on top of these as well. So we got to keep that in mind. So we're going to have to go out, up, up. Is that going to be two? Okay, I think that's two. So you know what? Let's actually bring this back another one because I I want to have uh, I want to have enough space for them to come out flat, then go up, and then come back out flat again. Uh, I don't know if that's going to make a difference, but it might. All right, so that looks good. I like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and put uh, all of these guys on here. And then I actually snagged an extra one for this guy over here. I don't know. Look at that. I actually uh, I remembered this guy needed a. Uh, Need a little dirt shoot, if you will. All right, so I need nine verticals and then two straights for each one, possibly. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So nine verticals and ten regular conveyors. I think in order to get this stuff piped up to here. And then I'm going to need two conveyors in between all of these as well. So that's another two, four, six, eight. We're going to grab 20 straight conveyors. And 10 verticals. 20 straight conveyors, 10 verticals. Did I say that right? I don't know if I said that right. I don't know if I said that backwards. <laughs> All right, so I got a lot of conveyors. We got lots of conveyors here. Uh, <laughs> lots and lots of them. Okay, so I'm going to need one there. And then one there. All right, perfect. Yeah, okay, so that actually worked out perfectly. So let me go through and put all these in there. All right, perfect. So those are all in here. Now I just got to get some flats in here. Easy peasy. Now I know a lot of this could be saved if I just like moved this directly up here, like how we have the other base, but I I, I don't know. I kind of like this system a little bit more. It's a little bit more robust and I feel like it's going to just maybe work a little bit better. Let's just go and set that there for now. And then I can get all these pieces placed in here and hopefully we can kind of get this line like looking good and hopefully working like it should yeah this is looking pretty good i'm like oh i forgot one i forgot one right there <laughs> that would have been bad they would have just fell into uh fell into the ground and then i would have got nothing from that i'm sure we would have saw it eventually okay so there's all of that oh i like that that's just so much it looks so much more it looks cleaner it doesn't look as cramped doesn't look as compact uh, I like it. It's not supposed to be compact. This is the big factor. This is the big one, people. It's actually asleep. It's starting to get dark. So now I need to go through and I need to place all of these in here to connect them all. And then we can kind of see where we're going from there. Okay, apparently 20 of these was not enough. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I... I must have forgot a run. Yeah, I must have forgot a run because I was buying them. I was buying them five at a time. So I need four more straight conveyor belts in order to get this whole system right here hooked up. Now, from here, we need to have there's going to be a conveyor line that runs here. It's going to come over and it's going to go into here. So we need a right turn, a right turn. And then a bunch more straight conveyors. And then that's going to hook up that and then we can run all these under here and then boop, they'll go right into there. All right, let's go. Let's go get them. Let's make it happen. How much fuel do we have? We have plenty. We're good. Let's do it. Okay, a bunch of conveyor belts later. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get these ones finished here and we'll get these connected and then we're going to send these around like that. Um, I'm trying to decide, I'm trying to decide. I think for now, we're just going to take this one right into here. But if I need to expand out this way, I could. I could, in fact, do that if need be. But I don't. I'm not going to do that right now. Not yet. Okay, so that's hooked up. So the items are going to come out of here. They're going to go boop, 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 boop. And they're going to get sorted and dropped off into their respectable areas. Nice. So now we can start focusing on this line right here. Now, it's actually kind of nice is with this with this archway right here. And if we copy this, we can actually use this to run our water lines uh, through all of these. So that's going to be super handy. So we're going to go get some water lines. I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually just going to uh, expand this out because we're going to get more ram drills in here anyways. And I'll just use these for uh, for expanding this first line. All right, there we go. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So I could buy 10 more Ram drills and throw them on here. 
which is probably exactly what we'll do. And then I guess we're going to work on getting this sucker piped together and maybe turning it on for the first time. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm going to need so many pipes. I'm going to need so many pipes. It's going to be absolutely disgusting <laughs> how many pipes we're going to need. I also have to figure out a way to get this all connected. Uh, you know what? Maybe we won't build over here. Maybe we'll just maybe we'll just expand out this way and keep it going this way. Because I honestly just don't foresee us taking up this entire area. I don't think the game would handle it. I think it would lag out. To be to be completely fair. So a bunch of ram drills, a bunch of pipes. Let's get these in here. Those should all function just fine like this. And the reason I'm doing this is so I don't have to worry about putting dirt underneath of each and every single one of these, because it's just like, oh my gosh, it's so annoying. <laughs> it's such a pain to get that to work. All right, so there's all the drills. Now, I was actually thinking about putting a grinder in here, but I, I don't, maybe a grinder right here would be ideal because then that would prevent them from all balling up right there. But I don't think, I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be all right. So now we need to try to get water pipes all the way over here. And honestly, we should just take it straight from right here. That's what we're going to try to do. Uh, battery's dead. Battery's good. Okay. Huh? Let's just set this guy down over here because we're going to move all this stuff anyways. All right. So like I said, I want to bring, I think I'm going to bring, we're going to bring water in right here. So let's just take this guy all the way out. Shoot. There's going to be a tree in the way and I'm stuck. Go figure. All right. You know what? We'll just go this side of the trees and call that good. <laughs> It'll work. All right. So let's put that there. And then we got to get basically a bunch of pipes. Holy pipes. Lots and lots and lots of pipes. Okay, so I can't put the straight pipes on until I get curved pipes. So I'm going to have to go get some curved pipes in order to bring that up and over and then straight over here. So I have to go get more pipes. And then I actually need a few more T-pipes. And I think I might just let these 12 run. So we'll probably get a corner on one of these sides in order to uh, to feed this guy. And yeah, we'll get this. Uh, we should be able to get this guy running. We should be able to get this stuff running today. I don't think that'll be an issue. You know what? Since we're over here, let's go ahead and let's look at how much the how much the electric filter is and the electric pressure booster. So we're going to be getting 100% water pressure out of the tap. But over the course of all those pipes, it's going to lose pressure. So let me grab my money real quick and let's go see what we can do. I really like this boat. This boat is super cool. Uh, let's go see what we can expect to pay for this stuff. I know this stuff is super expensive, so <laughs> not expecting too much. I have 29,000, uh, straight power line valve. That's not what I want. This guy, 12,000 when power provides hundred percent water pressure. Ooh, that's a lot powered filter. Oh my gosh. When power provides hundred percent filtered water. Oh, yeah, we need that. And honestly, we kind of need this too. Gives me 12,000. I don't even have enough. This one thing right here. Oh my gosh, that's expensive. Huh? All right, let's let's uh, let's go hook this stuff up. Let's see what we got. Now, the filter, we could actually have it running right next to the reactor. So that's going to be kind of handy. Uh, the only thing that we're going to have to power that's like a long distance is either... Uh, more of the the pressure booster tanks or the actual the little pump deal itself But I'm thinking we could probably power the pump deal off of the batteries We can just have those two batteries. We can just swap them out as needed. You know what I mean? Uh, until we get enough money going because like this is gonna start generating us a lot more money a lot quicker, too So let's get these in here. Let's get some pipes hooked up. We'll see how short I am. I know I'm gonna be short a lot Okay, so after like a billion pipes later my gosh my gosh my gosh it feels like it's forever. <laughs> it feels rough. We are finally getting somewhere. Uh, for for the most part, everything's hooked up. Um, let's see. Let's do this. Let's get this organized up here. Uh, I want to get a nice little foundation right here so we can put some of the machines on. Well, basically the reactor. Uh, because the reactor stuff, I think I'm going to have right here on this side. And I need to get more floors and stuff like that in here. Actually, you know, let's just go ahead and move these. 
So I don't really need those right there right now. So um, I want to put the reactor up here, but let's get this. Let's get these lines kind of finished up a little bit. Um, I need a few more straight pipes in order to get everything connected. And let's see, I think we should hopefully, ooh, I don't know if I got enough straight pipes. Shoot, I don't know if I have enough. Oh my gosh, I literally, I think I had just enough pipes. I did. Oh no, I didn't, I'm too short. <laughs> Darn it, okay. So as you can see, we have this long, oh my gosh, this pipe was long. This was so many trips, so many back and forth. Oh, it was terrible, it was terrible. But anyways, okay. So let's go ahead and let's get this guy placed in here. Now, we need water coming into this. And then we need, we're need we going to have power coming out of it on one side. Now, I'm trying to decide how do I want it. I guess we'll have it facing this way like that. Or I could have it like this. But then we're not going to be able to see it. I mean, the window's kind of cool. But for organizational purposes, it might, nah, we'll, we'll do it sideways. We'll do it sideways. Why not? Uh, we'll put it like that. Actually, is that as close to that as we can get? It looks like it is. All right. So we need water going to this pipe. So let's get a T in here. And then we need a curve. Of course, I don't have another curved pipe. Of course. Why would? Why would I? Why would I have another one? You know, why would I have a curved pipe? Nobody has any idea. <laughs> and then we need everything to be filtered uh, beyond this point. So we're going to have a hookup like this. Pipe's going to go into there. We're going to run electricity. We're actually... Does this need to be filtered? Does this get damaged over time? The ultimate pressure requires water. Keep fingers and toes away while operating. Hmm. It probably does get damaged. But then it doesn't say. Oh, you know what? I never hooked up this guy. We need to run a T and some straight pipes off of this in order to get this guy hooked up here. I don't know if the reactor gets damaged or not. I would imagine it would. I would say it does. So uh, we'll get that figured out. And then we have a regular filter there. We have that there, this there. Okay, so everything else is looking pretty good. I think we need to get a bunch of corks as well. I need like what? One, two, three, four, five, six, corks, seven, eight. We need eight corks and then I need more straight pipes, more tees and some elbows. Oh my gosh. It's just, it's just never ending. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's just never ending with the pipes. You know, so I was looking through this and instead of putting a cork in here and doing this pipe, I could just rotate this like that. <laughs> oh no, I can't because it won't go in there. All right, cool. Uh, I was going to say, I was like, ah, oh, did I make that dip more difficult than I need to? Nope, because it can't go over the pipe. Uh, it can't go through that back bar. So, nope, we have to have it. Okay. All right. Woo. I thought I, I was like, oh, well, I mean, that would have been a minor difficulty, but nothing crazy. Um, all right. So that, I believe, is all of the pipes that would be leaking. So let's look at our power stuff. I grabbed a couple extra power dealios. Um, we're going to go ahead and throw, let's see, let's take this battery off. Let's throw this T on here. And I'm going to throw that there. I'm going to go ahead and throw, we're going to throw a battery on there. And I actually grabbed another battery because I don't know if this is going to charge faster than it's supplying power to the pump. And if I could have two batteries charging, just in case, that wouldn't be a bad deal. So we have that there. We have that there. This is going to be our filtered, our, uh, our pump fill or a filtered water deal. I also bought a, a logistic valve. Now it says you can use it manually or through a logic cable. So we might use that eventually as well, but I just wanted to kind of get it in here. So we at least had it. We can use it manually until we get a cable in here. So that's not going to be too bad. Um, I think how I'm going to control this for the most part to start with though, is actually going to be through uh just taking that battery off of no would you there we go uh just taking the battery off the pump down there pretty much and i think that's gonna that's gonna be kind of how we do it um i think we're ready i think we're ready to see if this will work let's get uh let's get this guy in here
All right. That is in there. And I believe everything is good to go. Now, I don't know if we're going to have enough pressure to run all these things yet. So let's just do it. Let's turn it on. Let's flip the switch. Let's grab the battery. And we're going to put it on this guy right here. Uh, What does that mean? Does that mean that's where the water is stopping? Are you on right now? It is on right now. So that must be where the water is stopping. So we need... We need a pressure tank. Um, I guess we could just get a basic one. Actually, no. Let's go, uh, let's go back to our thing and let's see if we sold some stuff. Maybe we can get enough money to, to buy an actual electric pressure tank. Alright, so I know this is going to be turned off because, yep, there's a filter that's bad. So let's just go ahead and flip the switch and let's see what we got out of here maybe we can make ourselves a nice fancy uh oh i guess we should make a ring so means i should probably fix it just so we can we can make the ring <laughs> so we can make a bigger gem and i am i'm out of them oh it's running right now okay all right let's be quick with this go ahead and do your thing all right now let's turn it off all right, new ring. Come on, be valuable. Be super valuable. I need you to be super valuable. It's gonna be like three thousand dollars. It's not gonna help me like whatsoever. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's even worse. <laughs> it's even worse. No, darn it. Um, I guess we'll try to make an axe, or we'll try to make a, a dagger or something. I guess. Let me just throw this in here for now. I might just snag one of the pressure tanks from here. All right, how much is this dagger worth? Oh, 35,000. Yes, that's... <laughs> that's more like it. All right, you pressure tank, you. How much do we have in there? 48,000. One pressure tank. Yes, please. Thank you. Now, uh, hopefully one of those batteries charged while it's gone. I don't know. I see a lot of exclamation points. I'm a little bit worried. And then we can throw one of the batteries on here, get the pressure going, and then hopefully get the whole system running so we can start making some gold start making some more shards and then we can continue powering stuff i see a bunch of exclamation points i do not like that it does not look good let me guess the battery for the uh <laughs> the battery for the pump probably already ran out oh well, now it's all the way down here are you running it looks like it's running batteries are charging well, that's weird why does it oh these are going kind of they don't have enough water pressure okay so let's do this if the water's to right there oh gosh that is laggy oh there's like no water right here oh there was two pipes there Oh, things are getting super laggy already. Okay, we're going to put the pressure pump right here. And then we're going to grab one of these batteries. Oh, gosh, everything seems so laggy. Why? All right. Still lag. Still not working. Huh. Oh, you know why? These aren't even turned on. That would probably help if they're turned on, wouldn't it? All right, there it goes. All right, everything should be coming through. Let's look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Working beautifully. What is the deal with this? You know what? Am I getting feedback possibly from this loop right here? 
Like, if I just take this off, is that going to fix my issue? Because it, I had a looping. I bet you that was the issue. So if I put a plug there and I put a plug on the other side, I think we'll be good. Uh, yep, that was it. It's because I had a loop and it was it was like a feedback issue. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at all this stuff. Look at it all. It's all going perfectly well. Oh, it's amazing. These are all going into here. These are all going in. Oh my gosh. Look at how many gems we already have. Do we still have power going into this guy? Looks like it. Looks like we have a charge here. Now, this is my next question. Do I actually need this pressure booster? I think I do need this pressure booster. Nope. I don't think I do. Um, We'll go ahead and leave it on here. I don't think it's hurting anything. Actually, we can tell by the speed of the belt. Okay, so that's how fast the belt's going now. It looks like it's maybe making like a slight difference, like not much. Yeah, it's a little bit faster. It's a little bit faster. Okay. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah, I know. We. I really should have another battery on here. How's the battery on this thing looking? Still solid. And these are rolling in like amazingly. Like, look at the gold just flowing in here. Oh, this is amazing. It has begun. The Mega Factory has begun. So we have 12 machines on this guy. This appears to be working pretty good. Uh, yeah, appears to be working good. Doesn't appear to be getting clogged. Now, I don't know if I'd want any more dirt than that going into this, to be completely honest, because it looks like it might clog up. Maybe I should throw another grinder right there to help keep them small, because, like, even... They're still going in there fairly large. Eh, they're fine. So I'm almost thinking that this might be the perfect length. Like, if we just add another one, essentially right here, doing exactly the same thing, extend this out, copy this over... Like, I think we're going to be good. We're going to make so much money now. But that's going to end this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like. If you do here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Uh, you know what's actually kind of cool is we can go ahead and do this. Grab this shard. And then throw it right on into here. Actually, are you working right now? No, it doesn't work when the lid's open. Okay. The reason I was wondering was because if you could leave the lid open and that would work, you could have these directly pouring into there and then it wouldn't be like anything, you know what I mean? But nope, doesn't work that way. Has to lid has to be closed. We've got a uh, couple shards in here. Oh, it looks like the more shards we get in there, the maybe the faster it goes. Maybe? I'll keep throwing shards in there. I want to see this real quick. But uh, yeah, that is going to end the episode. So thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things. Give me a second. We'll throw another shard in here. We'll see if this gets faster. All right. So another shard. Going in. Shutting this. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if it's increasing the speed or not. Not positive. But yes, thank you guys for coming out. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one.